Alright, I know it's been a bit since the last one, well, eight months as of writing this, to be exact, but who cares? My last video was a weird Undertale thing, and I made it in Gmod, and, well, in general, this channel has become a random nonsense. Anyways, enough yapping about my current predicament and all that. Uh, God is good. Enough said. Let us move on to the next topic of the video. Hello, I'm King Noob. Last featured on this channel when we made the Yellow Theory video. It is going to get even deeper this time as we continue to delve into the lore of Chuck E. Cheese. So, to recap, the theory goes as follows. Pasquale is gaslighting the band members into believing false memories to forget their old friends, like Krusty, who is the first to leave the band. Randomly on a Halloween special made some time ago, Chuck starts speaking in reverse and when you play it correctly, he remembers Krusty. I have tickets to see the Wingers baseball game tonight to see Krusty the cat hit a home run, go Wingers. And when they look at the photo book and another video separate to the Halloween special, Chuck also realized none of these things happened. Wait, what? Wait, we never- Oh look, there we are, Woodstock! Remember when Jasper played the Star Spangled Banner on his guitar? Wait, no, no, that was- Oh, and uh, there we are, helping a Benjamin Franklin discover electricity! Uh, that was a shock! <laughs> huh? Chuck is starting to realize and remember his past. And Pasquale is covering up the truth with striking differences between the book from Chuck's point of view and the Every Boy Every Girl music video on a separate point of view. We will put that link in the description, so watch it first. To continue this theory, we have made some new discoveries. Recently, the Every Boy Every Girl video was unlisted and basically hidden. We find it kind of strange that it isn't deleted or privated entirely or kept up in general. In the video, they kept out the fact that Pasquale tried to kill Chuck when they first met, which is a detail from the book which this video was taken from. Now, this could just be interpreted, in, uh, interpreted as them just censoring that detail for the sake of YouTube, but with all the other evidence providing the contrary, I believe it is something to keep in mind. I find it unlikely this is done to follow the YouTube terms of service, as the book was sold at Chuck E. Cheese to children. Another thing to keep in mind is Chuck E. Cheese, or in this case, the person running the social media accounts, doesn't take down old content. Yet, when it comes to videos regarding the past of Chuck E. Cheese, it is taken down. First the original Halloween video, then with the Every Boy Every Girl music video. The only thing they have yet to take down regarding their past is the video in which Chuck remembers Krusty. Now the person running the social media accounts, or in this case specifically the YouTube channel, could definitely be Pasquale, but we have no evidence to back up his claim. <clears throat> yet, and to keep in mind, the video was only taken down after people started connecting the dots and realizing the video did not line up in the events with the book. With this laid out, I want to say that I believe that Chuck and Pasquale's relationship for the most part is that Chuck stays as the face of the company and if he screws up, well, he dies. Something along those lines. He either gets fired or dies, as it's implied in the book. But anyways, I'm not trying to riff off MatPat again, like I said in the original vid, but it feels like there's a lot of gaslighting going on, much like how the YouTube channel is hiding the old videos that show the original cast members, Pasquale is hiding Chuck's past from Chuck himself. Another point I want to make is the fact that Chuck went from a rat to a mouse, and I, I know this very well could be something done for the sake of making Chuckies more presentable, but I mean, look at Ratatouille. Don't, because the guy is the guy in Ratatouille is a rat himself, and uh, what am I saying? I don't know. Anyways, the point I was making is that they could have been doing this because of Disney, but I didn't make it all the way, and um, I, don't, I, I shouldn't keep this in. Point is, the change from rat to mouse is kind of odd, especially considering what's implied to have happened between the original members. I'm not saying they died, this isn't some creepypasta, but maybe the new Chuck isn't the same as the old Chuck despite the flaws in this theory. Pasquale could have been hiding the past from the new Chuck. I know this is reaching, but hear me out. Avenger Chuck, or the Chuck that has been known since the Pizza Time Theater days, finally figured out what was going on and confronted Pasquale. Pasquale either killed the original Chuck, or just kidnapped him and replaced him. Every time Chuck has gotten a new look, it has been minor. A snout change, new eyes, stuff like that. But he's a whole new type of rodent now. Pasquale might have something to do about the new Chuck figuring out the lies and the deceiving. The cast, Helen, Munch, etc. knows to keep quiet and that's why they didn't question the wacky memories from the photo book. Rockstar Chuck does not equal the rodent, the rat, Chuck. 
Someone from the first video pointed this out to us, in a way, kind of opening this up a little. Maybe it's Chuck being reborn. Maybe it's just a shift in personalities. Sometimes, when a band loses a few members, the band acts different. It shifts. It loses some personality. Maybe this is symbolic of how the corporate side of things has been for the company lately. Furthermore, maybe they're playing into it. To kind of cap this off, I will say that to some of you, this may sound like crazy tinfoil hattery. To those of you who do think that, I hate you. You don't deserve to live on the same planet as me. Just kidding. I love you. Anyways, there are a few tiny holes and reaches, but overall, this to me is a solid theory. Okay, bye bye now. Old man waving PNG.